Are you there? Is there anyone there out there in YouTube land? I really, really hope so. Here we are again. Look, quite a spectacular view today outside. Looking very nice. Here we are again once more across the Internet. Hello, world. I hope you are doing well today. Yes, we are all here again once more. It is English Addict Live from the birthplace of the English language, which just happens to be England. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you all OK and happy? I really, really hope so. Here we are once again. I hope you are having a lovely, peaceful day where you are. I hope you are relaxed and ready to learn some English. Yes, my name is Mr. Duncan. For those who don't know, I teach English on YouTube. I've been doing this for ever such a long time many many years in fact and I am here to teach you English one word at a time that's my new catchphrase by the way do you like it <laughs> is it good I'm testing it you see so I'm trying out my new catchphrase to see if you like it my name is Mr Duncan I teach English to the world one word at a time or maybe one sentence at a time do you like it? Is it a good catchphrase? Or shall I just stay with my old catchphrase? OK, here we go then. Yes, the world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join me once more for another lesson. And of course, today here in the UK and many parts of the world, it is also a special day. Many people commemorating the 75th anniversary of VE Day. A lot of people might not realize what that means. VE Day, victory over Europe. It was on this day 75 years ago when the guns fell silent and the Second World War came to an end. Thank goodness. So that is the reason why many people are celebrating here in the UK, a lot of people have been encouraged to go out into their gardens to have a picnic. However, <laughs> I think you know what I'm going to say next. Unfortunately, due to these rather unfortunate times where things are a little weird, <laughs> people cannot get together. So a lot of people are going into their gardens today and they are spending time with whoever it is they are isolated with and they are having a picnic now i thought well maybe there are people who are not with anyone else maybe there are people who are on their own if you are by yourself well guess what you can join in with my picnic today because mr steve yes he who must be obeyed all the time well most of the time he who must be obeyed has been very busy in the kitchen would you like to have a look at what Steve has been doing okay let me just put the world down on the ground I must be careful I don't want to cause any waves as I place this on the ground so I will be very gentle with the planet I just wish other people would be Oh, by the way, I'm also drinking a cup of coffee as well. I have a cup of coffee. Unfortunately, it has gone cold, but I am thirsty, so I will drink it anyway. If you are having a drink at the moment, I hope you are enjoying your beverage, whatever it happens to be. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. Cold coffee. Ugh. Not very nice. 
nice not very nice so mr. Steve has been busy in the kitchen would you like to have a look I don't know if you yeah hmm, I'm just thinking do I want to give this away so early because Steve will be joining us yes Steve will be with us at some point during today's English addict he will be with us live on the show however here is Steve a little earlier in the kitchen mr. Steve what are you up to hmm so there is Steve this morning he was busy in the kitchen and he was making some rather unusual cakes <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they are Steve could you please tell me what they are I'm not quite sure but they are they look like little balls they actually look like golf balls <laughs> so I think mr. Steve has gone into business making his own golf balls so what has Steve been doing in the kitchen and there he is now putting his cakes into the oven but the big question is what are they what are those cakes Steve will be with us a little bit later on to reveal what he is baking there in the oven so we will find out a little bit later on what Steve is up to Ooh. I wonder what Steve is doing in the kitchen even I I'm intrigued to find out as you know I love food so whatever it is in life whatever I'm doing it must involve some food so that's what we are doing today oh another thing we are doing we are going to play something that has been very popular recently a lot of people have said mr. Duncan we love it we love it a lot so I'm going to play the sentence game again today I feel as if I'm forgetting something what am I forgetting oh you I'm forgetting you and also I'm forgetting the fact that we are all here today at the end of the week yes we have all made it through to the end of another week the weekend is just around the corner because it's Friday Yes, I have noticed that I am slightly late today. I'm sorry, by the way, for my lateness. I was around six minutes late today, for which I apologize. However, here we are now. You can see we are definitely live because now it is just after 20 past two here in the afternoon in the UK. I don't know what time it is where you are because I'm not there at the moment. So there it is now for those who always ask mr. Duncan is your live stream really live yes it is look it's just after 20 past 2 on a Friday afternoon the 8th of May a very important date because it is VE day here and also around the world commemorating the end of the Second World War and also a chance for us all to give thanks to those who made what we often call the ultimate sacrifice giving your life giving your life hello to the live chat here we go then I don't want to forget you hello to Mosin hello Mosin nice to see you here today black gacha is here as well <laughs> I'm always strangely intrigued by your little name there I'm always very intrigued hello also Vitas hello Vitas unfortunately your finger was not very fast today unfortunately because you are not first maybe tomorrow maybe the next day maybe never who knows so all you have to do is keep 
clicking that mouse and I'm pretty sure one day you will be first again Adrian is here can I say well done thank you for joining me you all have very fast fingers congratulations to you can I also say hello to RHS hello also Francesca Sujin Beatriz Lewis I wish I had my echo Lewis Mendez is here hello Lewis nice to see you thanks for your email by the way thank you very much for keeping me informed on what is happening and can you believe there is now a bumblebee flying around me come on mr bumblebee now we had this conversation yesterday didn't we go on out you go there we go he's gone oh that's good <laughs> he managed to find his way out bye bye mr bumblebee there he goes bumbling away talking of people who bumble mr steve will be here soon showing us what he has been cooking in the kitchen mr. Steve has been baking but <laughs> sorry <laughs> there are some people who might get the wrong idea about that sentence because if you say that someone is baking sometimes it means they are doing something illegal mm. you see yes hello also Valeria hello Grace Chin hi Grace nice to see you here today will we be having will we are we going to have a dance are we going to have a dance today I think so I think today is as good a day as any day to have a little dance so we will be doing that a little bit later Christina asks hello mr. Duncan how are you I'm okay not too bad I had a lovely sleep however I had a very I had a horrible nightmare last night I don't often have nightmares <laughs> sometimes I have nightmares when I'm doing this especially when my equipment doesn't work properly I sometimes have nightmares however last night I had a horrible dream I would probably describe it as a as a nightmare to be honest it was it was a nightmare and I was trapped I was stuck and lost in London of all places of all the places to get lost <laughs> London so that was my dream last night very strange and everywhere I went in the dream I couldn't find out where I was I didn't know where I was even though I knew I was in London but every time I went round a corner there was always something that would stop me going by quite often aggressive people or people who might do me harm so in the lesson in the dream <laughs> maybe the lesson as well <laughs> in the dream there were all of these obstacles that were stopping me from going forward it's very strange and I was lost in London and to be honest with you it is not a theme that is new to my dreams quite often I will have a dream where I'm lost somewhere so I'm sure if some psychiatrist or dream expert analyzed my dream I'm sure he would say hmm Mm, yeah, yes there is something definitely wrong with you mr. Duncan so I wonder what my dream means although to be honest with you it wasn't a dream it was a nightmare that's how I would describe it anyway hello Pradeep hello mr. Duncan it is not raining today thank goodness <laughs> yesterday it was but no today today is quite nice we have some actual sky to look at instead of looking at horrible gloomy clouds we have lots of lovely sky would you like to have a look there it is there is the view right now looking rather nice at the moment so that is the view 
looking out from my studio window and you can see lots of yellow lots of yellow leaves and also you can see some yellow flowers on one of the trees on the right of the picture so that at the moment is the view right behind me in fact just behind my head <laughs> whilst we are looking at the view something very special happened last night on the top of that hill so the hill you are looking at now the hill you can see in the picture something very special happened there last night we had a little celebration with a light show would you like to have a look okay then so here it is last night this is the hill the famous hill and you can see there there is a small light at the top of the hill however lots of other things are about to happen as well fight the birds are fighting behind me so uh, if you look you will see a little red light come on that is the normal light if you wait for a moment you will see a red light will suddenly appear at any moment <laughs> sometimes you have to be patient you see come on little red light where are you we might have to wait for a while actually so last night at the top of the Reekin there was a special light show to give thanks to the health service here in the UK and also as a mark of respect for those who lost their lives in the Second World War as we approached D-Day and there you can see the lights so the red lights have come on now those are the normal lights they are the famous lights in this area that many people know however in a moment you will see some other lights come on as well there are some other lights that will suddenly appear so this was something that was done last night and I have a feeling it's going to happen tonight as well so in a moment you will see some lights shining into the sky I hope so anyway <laughs> I really hope so come on lights where are you ah there they are so there you can see now the lights and they are blue lights and also there are spotlights as well sh shining into the sky so later last night there were lots of blue lights and also some spotlights as well shining around in the sky as a way of marking the 75th anniversary of VE Day and also as a way of saying thank you to all of the emergency services doctors nurses everyone who is taking care of us during this time so yes I hope you enjoy that's something unusual and something a little bit different as well it did cause quite a lot of excitement last night I must be honest with you it did create a lot of excitement in the area a lot of people were looking out of their windows including me and I also filmed it as well from my window so right behind me there is the hill in fact up there so you can see there is the hill that we were looking at a few moments ago just behind me hello to the live chat nice to see you here yes it is English addict with myself mr. Duncan in England teaching English to the world one sentence at a time I like that I think that could be my new catchphrase I think so hello Rosa the temperature is 19 Celsius here is it the same in your place today here in England the temperature is 20 degrees it's 20 degrees so not very far away from your temperature so we have 20 Celsius today which feels rather nice that is the reason why I can actually wear my short shirt 
so I'm wearing my blue shirt my lovely blue shirt and also my lovely blue overshirt as well looking rather summery because of course technically summer is here yes summer has arrived honestly it's really here so I'm quite explain I'm quite excited about that hello mr. Duncan hello fly away oh yes the bulls I don't think I have any of the video of the bulls here no unfortunately I don't I might see if I can find it let's just see I'm going to try and do something that I've never done before I'm going to try and find my little bulls <laughs> come on bulls where are you so I will see if I can find my bulls if I can't find them don't worry <laughs> where are the bulls mr. Duncan where are the bulls we are waiting for you to show us the bulls and I can't find them that's a shame I wonder what's happened to my bulls <laughs> I, I, I like saying that have you noticed where are my bulls I can't find them that's a shame I was hoping to find my bulls <laughs> come on bulls where are you I know I have my edit somewhere I'm going to find those bulls I really am if I don't find them then I might I might start crying come on bulls where are you <laughs> why can't I find my lovely bulls it's not fair it's not fair I want I want my bulls come on bulls where are you let's see if we can find the bulls I can't find them oh <laughs> We do have a friendly Highland bull. Would you like to see that? Okay, then let's have a look. <laughs> let's have a look at the friendly <laughs> Highland bull. There we go. If you can't have the bulls at the back of my house, instead we will have this instead. Oh, there he is. Look. So there is a friendly Highland bull. And that is one that I met last year during one of my walks so this is not one of the bulls at the back of my house this is one of the bulls that lives locally here in much Wenlock and he doesn't look very happy maybe because I'm filming him <laughs> I do like his piercing he has a lovely nose ring very trendy very stylish I wonder if he has some tattoos as well probably Oh, and there's another one they're everywhere <laughs> so those are friendly highland cattle fortunately they are not the ones at the back of my house they are not they are not the ones at the back of my house unfortunately we are talking about ve day and i suppose it is a time where lots of people reflect on not just the past but also the present as well so we are living through a very strange time where many people have had their freedom to move around they've had it taken away from them however this is not war well you might describe it as a type of war but in this sense we are fighting something that we can't really see something that is very small and of of course something that is harming and killing many people so yes it's very interesting I, I woke up this morning with many thoughts in my head after my bad dream last night so yes I was doing that this morning thinking hmm freedom it is something we take for granted don't you think it is something that we often think I have freedom I can walk around I can do whatever I want but when you lose that freedom suddenly you realize just how precious how important it is to have freedom to be free 
I think so hello to the live chat hello TS your your bulls look like bison they do look a little bit like bison don't they they do you're right so those are not the bulls at the back of my house unfortunately <laughs> what was that oh I wonder what that was I'm not sure what that was interesting I think it may have been something to do with VE Day I think so maybe that was some sort of commemoration shot hello to Anna hello also Mika Mika is here today thank you very much for joining me again hi Jamelia from Palmyra hello Sarah mr. Duncan it's a pleasure to be able to enjoy your day da daily classes well ooh, I'm not sure if this is a good time to tell you but I will not be with you tomorrow I will not be with you tomorrow I will be with you on Sunday of course from 2 p.m. UK time but as things slowly turn back to normal across the world many people are going back to work a lot of people now are getting on with their lives some people of course are still in lockdown however they have found other things to do so these are my lesson times from today Sunday Wednesday and Friday 2 p.m. UK time English addict I will be with you live on Sunday Wednesday and Friday from 2 p.m. UK time if things change maybe I will do some live streams every day but at the moment I am bringing my daily live streams to an end but I will be with you on Sunday Wednesday and Friday I will put the time and also the days on the screen so you can see that Sunday Wednesday Friday 2 p.m. UK time thank you to oh Lil it's very nice to see that the bulls have their horns yes that particular type of cattle is famous for its large horns it really is hello yes mr. Duncan could you tell us what's the difference between the word special and a special well special is something that is unique something that you find maybe delightful a special day a special moment when we say especially we are highlighting something we are putting emphasis on something that is special especially so I love walking out on a day like this especially when the Sun is out especially when the Sun is shining I love walking through the countryside especially when the Sun is shining so what you are doing you are highlighting something that is special in that situation especially you are singling you are highlighting you are emphasizing something that is very special something that happens or something that you enjoy during a certain time I like walking in the countryside especially when the Sun is out so I like walking in the sunshine but I really like it when the Sun is shining Mustafa the importance of freedom knows any person who is in prison yes I suppose a person who is locked away if you lose your freedom quite often a person will be punished they will be they will be put in prison or maybe they will be sent to jail for a certain period of time depending on how serious their crime actually is so yes you are right losing your freedom I think is one of the worst things to have happen to a person 
you take away their freedom you take away their humanity people enjoy freedom we enjoy being able to walk around being able to express ourselves that's one of the things I like about living in this country I can say anything I can speak my mind and that's what many people have the right to do so I suppose you might say that the end of the Second World War was also significant because it was reinforcing those freedoms that we quite often take for granted and quite often that freedom is the freedom to express yourself the freedom of movement the freedom of speech I think so we will miss you tomorrow says Ola well because fewer and fewer people are watching my daily live streams I had a feeling that maybe many people are now going back to their normal lives you see so that's the reason why and also I have some things that I have to do as well some things in my life that I need to sort out Christina says you deserve a rest thank you I think I'm I do actually <laughs> especially my voice my poor voice I've been using this voice for many many days <laughs> without any break so yes I will be going back to my three days a week so I will be back with you on Sunday and then Wednesday and then Friday Sunday Wednesday Friday 2 p.m. UK time English addict live and that's what we will be doing hello to Irene Mr. Duncan I see your black your black friend is back the blackbirds have been going crazy today the blackbirds have been going completely crazy today they have Beatriz no problem Mr. Duncan you did a great effort for us during this special time I am so grateful thank you Beatriz talking of which I have a special thank you to make right now can I say thank you to woo, thank you to Lan Fung thank you Lan Fung for your lovely message thank you very much Lan Fung for your message and also your kind donation as well I received a notification last night to tell me that I had a donation made on my live stream oh and also to my PayPal as well thank you Lan Fung Lan Fung can I say thank you very much for your lovely donation I really appreciate it and of course if you want to make a donation you can as well to my PayPal you are more than welcome to do so because I do everything for free all of the things I do I do for you for free it doesn't cost you anything and of course I've been doing this for 14 years for free can you believe it can you believe it ooh la la ooh la la hello Reshma hello also to Irene I am just trying to see some of the messages on the live chat thank you Sergio says let's recall Churchill the great leader of the nation of the time of 1939 well I suppose Winston Churchill is one of those figures from history who is often talked about and here in the UK we were talking about it last night as we approached the 75th anniversary of victory over Europe the day when the guns fell silent and well I was going to say things returned to normal but of course it took many years before things became normal again 
hello limansis hello limansis hello to you hello and welcome welcome to my live chat i'm with you live today from 2 p.m uk time sunday wednesday friday and we are here together to share our love of the english language you might say that we are all we are all sort of english addicts would you say so by the way if you want live captions i forgot to say this so i'm going to say it now <laughs> if you want live captions you can press c on your keyboard so just take your finger and press c and guess what you will have captions as if by magic it's incredible i love technology so much so all you have to do is press c and you will get captions ah ah but mr duncan i am watching you on my mobile device how can i get those captions well i will show you all you have to do is yep. ah there you can see up there all you have to do on your mobile phone or your portable device is press that on your settings and then you will get this screen coming up on your phone or your tablet activate the captions so all you have to do is activate the captions and all you have to do is press that little button at the top so those are the settings on your screen is that okay i hope so <laughs> i sometimes try to be helpful i hope that was not confusing hello also mustafa again three days are not enough mr duncan they are not enough unfortunately that is all i can do at the moment because my life well there are many things going on let's just say that that's all i'm saying at the moment mr steve has a different accent than yours you are not from the same area you are right yes well i am from staffordshire so i am from the midlands and mr steve is from the cotswolds and also it's probably worth mentioning that his family they speak very posh yes so i say bath mr steve says bath bath <laughs> i'm going to take a bath i say i'm going to take a bath so you can hear there is a little difference between there is some difference between our actual accents you are right well observed tamara tamara says when we remember the horrors of the second world war nowadays lockdown seems to be not so bad not so bad i suppose so this is one of the things that quite a few people have said because some people who were in lockdown were complaining they were saying oh it's not fair oh it's not fair i have to stay in my house all the time watching netflix <laughs> oh it's not fair <laughs> trust me during the second world war people were suffering much more than that much more Palmyra says I must scratch my head of how to fill these two hours on Monday Tuesday Thursday and Saturday I'm sorry about that I do apologize but unfortunately because things are changing here and also there are some things that I need to do as well unfortunately I can't be with you every day however as I've already said I will be with you on sunday wednesday friday write those times down and days sunday wednesday friday it is always the same time however 2 p.m uk time so now you know yeah now you know when i'm on 
natalie says hello i'm happy to join your wonderful lessons thank you very much yes we are live on friday the 8th of may and it's a special day for many people commemorating the 75th anniversary of the end of the second world war from 1939 to 1945 the second world war took place many people died many people were injured many people suffered in all sorts of ways and that is the reason why we often remember these times not happy times however we often give thanks to those who as we often say paid the ultimate price and today we are celebrating ve day victory over europe is what that means it is the 75th anniversary of ve day victory over europe the day when lots of people celebrated in the streets as they welcomed the news that the guns had fallen silent and the second world war had effectively come to an end thanks for your company today i hope you are okay mr steve has been busy for those who missed it steve has been very busy in the kitchen however the big question is what is mr steve making steve what are you making what is going on in the kitchen i really want to know i want to know what mr steve is doing <laughs> hello to limanzis hello also to peter hello peter nice to see you so here is the big question what is mr steve making today many people are having picnics outside as a way of commemorating ve day and mr steve seems to be cooking something he's baking something in the oven but i wonder what he is up to a little bit later on we will find out we will find out what is baking inside mr steve's oven today Ooh, exciting isn't it we'll also be playing our little game yes we will be playing the sentence game today as well i was told that some of my sentences were too difficult so today today i've decided to make some easier sentences so some of the sentences today will be a little easier because i had complaints that i was making them too difficult mr duncan can you please make them a little easier so i'm doing that today lewis says goodbye where are you going are you going lewis i am not going at the moment i am still here hello to emmanuela he is preparing something delicious for you mr duncan he is preparing something delicious i wonder what it is though i think it is a type of cake that's what i think i think it is a type of cake but what is it what is mr steve doing in the kitchen palmira says pay attention to how mr steve pronounces the word often well i say often and mr steve says often <laughs> steve says often i say often often so for me the t is silent i can hear my neighbor's cock my neighbor's cockerel is getting very excited for some reason i don't know why <laughs> how lovely hello to valera i love the sentence game oh okay then well maybe we can play the sentence game right now would you like to 
Okay. Sounds good to me. And yes, we will be having a little dance later on as well. It's time to play the sentence game. The sentence game. The sentence game. The sentence game. Play along at home. Play along at home. Play along at home. It's the sentence game. It's the sentence game. That's my new theme tune for, for the sentence game, you see. There it is. <laughs> the sentence game, the sentence game. No, I'm not doing it again. So the sentence game, I'm going to give you four words. What you have to do is construct a sentence from those words. There is only one rule. The rule is you must use the words in that order. I know I'm so strict. Oh, Mr. Duncan, Mr. Duncan, you are so strict. You are a very strict teacher. So here we go. Here is the first one right now. So this is a sentence. All you have to do is create a sentence from the words. So the first one is a little easier because I know that some people find some of my sentences a little difficult. So I've made some easy ones today as well. So there are some easy ones as well. Hello to Francesca. Maybe Mr. Steve is preparing something sweet to bring for his mother tomorrow. Well, unfortunately, Steve can't go to see his mum. Steve can't visit his mum because you're not allowed to. There's there's lockdown, you see. So at the moment in the UK, people are having to stay in lockdown. They have no choice about the situation. So that is one of the things that's happening at the moment here in the UK and many parts of the world. We are we are not allowed to visit our friends and family. We are not. We have to stay at home. Hello also to Rosa. Hello also to Francesca. Oh, I see. If if Mohammed is not feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you will feel good soon. I will give you my big get well soon. Thumbs up. By the way. <laughs> I know this sounds desperate. And maybe it is. But please give me a like. And also subscribe if you like what I do please like and subscribe don't hold back give me one of those beautiful thumbs give me a like give me a share to let me know you care isn't that nice it's my little poem there I just made that up here we go then the sentence game is on your screens right now four words all you have to do is construct a sentence but they must be in that order please <laughs> I'm so strict did you have a teacher at school who was always very strict a strict teacher is a teacher who would always punish you they would always find a reason to punish you for doing something wrong they would always carry out very harsh punishment the teacher was very strict I remember at school I had one teacher and she she taught religious ed religious studies that's it religious studies even though back then we called it religious education and and <laughs> she had a habit of hitting the students it's true she would hit the students with her fist she would bring her fist down onto the students heads as punishment horrible isn't that horrible Boom, like that so she would go up to the students and go Boom, on their head that's not very nice is it so here are the words before I 
<laughs> become distracted by another sub subject or topic here we go <laughs> Tamara says you are not strict mr. Duncan you are kind thank you very much that's very kind of you to say so here we go four words all you have to do is construct a sentence but please they must stay in that order and there it is oh can you see it so there are your four words the words are can outside play friends and as you can see this is obviously a question this is a question you see so because there is a question mark at the end you can actually see that that is a question I'm asking a question can outside play friends so this one is a bit easier I wanted to give you an easier one to start with so can outside play friends so you can see that that is a question it is a question so if anyone wants to have a go at the sentence game now is the time to do it there are the words so this is a question it is also a request as well so this particular question is a request you want something you want you are putting forward a request so I start off with an easy one or a simple one just so you know how we play the game so we have some oh very quick you see very fast thank you can you stay outside to play with the friends can you stay outside to play with the friends thank you Eleanor there are some slight problems with the grammar in that in that sentence Emanuela also has an answer as well can I go outside to play can I go outside to play with my friends so you are asking a question Olia can I go outside to play with my friends mr. Duncan <laughs> that's a good one yes so you are in fact asking me the question I like it can outside play friends it is a question it is a request so that type of sentence is being used as a request you are asking for something you are asking if you can do something can I do that can you go outside and play with your friends yes can you go outside and play with your friends can you go outside and play with your friends so in that sense we are reversing the person who is saying it so maybe the mother is saying it to the child so in the previous example it was the child asking the parent in your example it was the parent asking the child <laughs> can you go outside and play with your friends can you go outside and play with your friends so you are again you are again asking so that particular request is the other way around can I go outside and play with my friends that is the child asking the parent the parent might say can you go outside and play with your friends the parent wants you to go outside so it is also it is also a request as well oh I feel like I'm going to sneeze I feel like I might sneeze today oh by the way I've been on for over one hour already can you believe it 
hi mr. Steve what do you mean hi mr. Steve did you see mr. Steve did you did you just see mr. Steve I wonder where you saw Steve did you see Steve behind me just a few moments ago I see mr. Steve is behind you mr. Duncan is that true well if he's behind me that means maybe he is about to appear on your screens right now is that true is there a mr. Steve in my area yes oh <laughs> hello it's mr. Steve a round of applause everyone <laughs> It's Mr. Steve. Oh, Mr. Duncan. Hello. Oh, don't ask me how I am, will you? How are you? I'm much better, thank you. Poor Steve. <laughs> Do you remember last weekend, last Sunday, Steve was not feeling very well, were you? Oh, no, I wasn't. In <laughs> no. fact, uh, I had to go to the doctor's, didn't I, on, on Tuesday? Yes. So Steve went to the doctor's and he, he looked inside Mr. Steve's ear yes. and he said, I can see what the problem is. You are missing something. Well, I didn't actually go to the doctor because, of course, we can't visit the doctor. We're not allowed to at the moment. No. Nope. Uh, so it was a, a telephone consultation. Oh. Uh, during which uh, she revealed to me, and I, I told her all about my symptoms. <laughs> there are many. Uh, that uh, it, there is a, a possibility that I could have had... Oh, you know, you know. Really? Yes, yes, yes. I describe my symptoms. No, I'm not staying on for long, so don't worry. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, she said you've definitely had a viral infection. Oh. Uh, but uh, she didn't know which one, of course, because she can't test me. But, you know, I think, well, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, you've been all right. I'm OK. I, I'm always well, though. I was very unwell. I have a very strong immune system, you see. I, I, I don't I don't know because I lived in China, you see. I lived in China for four years, over four years. And during that time, I had every every illness that, that you can imagine. So when I came back here, I, I, I now have all of the antibodies for everything that's ever happened ever. So I think there. you've uh, yes I think you're immune to everything on the planet <laughs> maybe uh, maybe but anyway I'm fine now I'm a lot better I'm I'm, I'm fighting fit as yeah. you would say so fighting you, fit yes I don't I don't think personally I I don't think Steve had you know what I don't think he had it to be honest I think he's just lazy no I had all the symptoms aching all over in fact I kept saying to Mr Duncan my joints ache my hips ache that's just old age. It doesn't come on that quickly, Mr. Duncan. It came on in a, in a matter of hours. Yes. Do you realise every morning when I wake up, I have pains, aches and pains in my in my legs, in my back, in my neck, in my arms. I, I think I don't know what it is. But in the morning when I wake up, I, I sometimes have so much pain. That's because I'm beating you up. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you're asleep. <laughs> oh, I see. I wonder what you said then. Well, Mr. Duncan, I've been very busy this morning. OK. Because it's a VE yes. day, as I'm sure you've mentioned. We've already. mentioned it today. Yes. Uh, Let me just put something on the screen if I can find it. Here we go. So, yes, it is VE day, the 75th anniversary of the ending of the Second World War. The guns fell silent over Europe and that was victory over Europe day. And that's the reason why we say it, you see. So it is a day where a lot of people are feeling sombre. However, and this is leading me to your little... By the way, it's victory in Europe. OK, well, victory in Europe. Europe. You. We didn't conquer Europe. OK. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Correcting, Mr Duncan. I'm going to get into okay, trouble Steve, later. Calm down. <laughs> well, this is... I did, I did say to Steve we have to be a bit sombre today, but... Sombre. Anyway. Sombre. I can't be okay. sombre victory in Europe okay I'm, I'm sure you said that yes. earlier yes well I said over because a lot of the fighting took place in the sky you see oh you see what I'm doing what you there right. you see so see. there can you see that plane 
yes one of those went over our house this morning it did it did a spitfire famous world war two raf plane yes a famous plane lots of them were took part in in the uh, the many battles it took place over europe you see so you see you saw what i did there that's why i did that yeah well, okay okay mr duncan we get it however what was steve doing here is steve in the kitchen and look this is what steve was up to yes. this morning well in fact that that wasn't what you were doing first of all let me just show you something else so this is steve first of all <laughs> i've what? just messed can you believe i've just messed that up i look like, a bit scruffy there what what are you wearing steve you look like you've just climbed an, climbed out of a dustbin it's an old sweatshirt okay anyway we're not we don't care about the sweatshirt we care about the food that you're making what are you making steve so it looks they look like golf balls now um, i i said earlier that perhaps you've gone into business making golf balls no they're called the scones oh <clears throat> okay then scones or scones you can pronounce the word in two different ways so steve is making scones or also you can say scones some people say scones don't they yes posh people say scones mm -hmm. and uh, and everybody else says scones yes and as i gave away earlier <laughs> well this is steve's first attempt so first of all steve tried to make some and they didn't turn out very well because they were quite small they were small because the flower was two years out of date okay and it didn't raise very much so you had you had trouble raising your scones i did <laughs> they didn't uh, they didn't rise in the heat of the oven okay so next so you you made some more though didn't you i made some more yeah uh, and i added a bit of extra uh raising agent oh i see and this flour. this is the other thing i wanted to mention because you didn't have any baking powder did you baking soda yes baking powder uh, which you need to add to make them rise and the self-raising flour that we had was a uh, two years out of date mm -hmm. uh, and full of little weevils but never mind oh okay i'm only joking uh so yes i had a second go and they came out a bit better and i've got them here so when you finish your live stream uh, we're going to eat them with a, a cup of tea okay, and that. some and some uh, some butter and yeah. some jam. Yes, because apparently that's what we're supposed to do today in the UK. Yes, supposed to. Day. <laughs> we're yes. not. We're not supposed to do it. Well, we had a minute, a uh, two-minute silence at eleven, and then we're supposed to eat scones with jam and tea in the afternoon oh i see so that's why i made them today the only problem is at the moment lots of people want to have picnics in their garden but we can't because it's there's still lockdown isn't there well you wouldn't think so uh living around here okay then <laughs> that's good steve <laughs> let's um, not uh, dob the neighbors in but no let's just okay say there's been a yeah. lot of activity okay then <laughs> you know sometimes steve sometimes you have to let your mouth know not to say certain things before you say them. That, that's just an ad, just advice, you see. Just advice. I'm not saying which neighbours. No, but they all live around here. They're not going to. They're not going to disappear suddenly. We although heard. although we might have to. <laughs> so come on, Steve. Get these scones out. Oh. I want to see Mr. Steve's scones. Broken a nail. Anyway, call the doctor again. Mr. Steve just broke one of his fingernails. There they are. Oh, they smell gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. They do so, smell nice. Here's one I've picked out for myself. Uh, it's the biggest one. OK. Um, and now you can have that one, Mr. Duncan. Look at that. Uh, so there, Mr. Steve has made some homemade scones or scones. Let me just put that back on the screen. There is a caption that I'm trying to find. There we go. Scone. So singular scone or scone plural you say scones or scones i can't There's wait There's always been a lot of controversy in the uk about how to pronounce this word and uh, i think i mean personally if you were to uh 
the posh way is to say scone. Scone. I've got some delightful scones. Yes. For tea. But of course, I think that is the correct way because it's spelled S C O N E S. Yeah, it's on the screen now. There. That's it. Well, See, it's actually there. It's a bit like bone, isn't it? B O N E. You wouldn't pronounce the bones in your body as bones. No. So I think it should be scones. Scones. But we often think that oh. posh people posh people will say scones is that right scone and common people like me will say scone scone scones scone you see if there was if there Ooh. was no <laughs> Heck, I'm, just, I'm doing an english lesson here <laughs> scone <laughs> scone scones you see if there wasn't if there wasn't an e on the end i could I could see how it could be pronounced scone. Yes. But there's an e on the end like in bone. So it should be scone. So how come how come the number 1 isn't wown? Because there isn't an uh one. What oh o n e. Hmm. Yeah, know. there it is. Look. I see? See? O n e. So we don't say own. We don't say own 2 3 4. We say one. one. So scone. Oh. You see, but bone, or maybe something that's disappeared has gone. Go. You, you don't say gone. I do. Where where have you gone, Mr. Duncan? You have gone. This is the controversy. You see, nobody actually knows. Yes, but technically, I'm right. So my pronunciation is right, and Mr. Steve's is a pile of pants. No, I think it's bone scone, <laughs> not gone scone. <laughs> but very soon. These scones will be gone. <laughs> apparently, Corrie says. Eat them. Apparently, Corrie says, it is inhumane what we are doing. Inhumane. You mean, you mean this? You mean going? Oh, look, at Mr. Steve's. Oh. Beautiful scone or There's, scone. Can you smell them? Hmm. Look at that. So the reason why you made some scones this morning. Scones. The reason why you made them is because. It is VE Day, victory in Europe. I said over. Technically, it's both, I suppose. But a lot of people are having picnics in their gardens today. And that's the reason why cakes have suddenly become very, very popular today. Well, scones with jam, cream and butter <gasps> is a very traditional British English snack to have in the afternoon mm. scones and a cup of tea okay uh, how, how do you make them okay so they're very very easy to make uh, it's the first time i've made them but they are very easy so you just have some self-raising flour yep. to which you add a little bit of extra uh raising agent to it some uh um can't remember what it's called now baking, baking powder. soda baking, baking soda. powder some people call it baking soda what what's the other is did they call it bicarbonate as well there's oh, well another. there's yes so it, raising agent has got bicarbonate of soda and a, and a mild acid in it so that when they're mixed together and the liquid is added uh they bubble away and uh, you get it raise, rises up can i uh, can i just need to be that technical though can i just, just ask cakes. steve it's not caustic soda no no good so there you can see the ingredients on the screen <laughs> or was it did i but did I, did I take it out of the right jar? You can see the ingredients on the screen now. So there is flour. There is also some butter as well. Water, of course. So they are quite milk. E they are quite easy to make. Oh, it's milk. It's Sorry. milk. Yeah, you just you just mix the flour, <laughs> obviously in the right proportions, with the uh, fat, with the butter or the margarine, and then and then add a bit of milk, to turn it into a nice dough. And what are you doing there? I'm putting some uh, egg on top just that's that's a, a an egg that i've whisked up okay and that gives it the nice golden color on ah, top when so, it's cooked so when they cook they will go golden brown golden brown yes and i've added some some raisins you can add dried fruit to them you can add cheese mr duncan likes cheese in his that's a cheese scone so they're very <sighs> flexible yes uh, but um, I'm going to warm them up later and we're going to have them with a nice cup of tea. And there they are. So this is Mr. Steve's second batch. They're very easy to make. Uh, Anna says, uh, Palmyra says, we're talented. But there's no talent required. 
to make these. They're very, very easy to make. Probably one of the easiest cakes to make. Actually, flapjacks are easier. Uh, but these are particularly easy. Uh, and uh, I, th I would have thought that making these six today has cost, cost us about 10 pence. Mm, so quite cheap. Very cheap. So the whole lot, they're probably no more than about a penny each. Uh, so um, much cheaper than if we were to go to the shops and buy them. Oh, brilliant. And they were done and ready, mixed in the oven. You only have to bake them for 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 that's minutes, that's all. Look at that. Oh, You could do these every day. You, you could, I reckon I could get this down to mixing everything, putting in the oven, 20 minutes. Wow. You could, you could have them ready. Uh, every day imagine that mr duncan imagine eating these every day look at that i'm going to show you the full shot now there it is look at that oh my goodness i think we're uh, making people feel very hungry so is this what we're eating after yes so when we've finished today's live stream which will be well about half an hour we are going to have a cup of tea we are maybe also we're going to sit in the garden we're going to sit in the garden and we're going to have our little ve day picnic we are and who yeah. knows the red arrows the red arrows might fly over the house to say hello to us maybe as... even another spitfire yes we had a spitfire fly over and last night steve if you remember last night i uh, i was doing some filming outside because yes excitement look look, look what was going on last night there was actually a light show taking place at the top of the hill near where we live look so there was a light show lots of blue lights and also there were spotlights as well shining above the the big hill that is behind our house so yes look at that isn't that amazing yes, it was uh, it was uh, i don't think though we had a particularly good show from our side of the hill no i think uh, if you were the other side of the hill which points towards the main town yes near us i think yes. the, the light show was a lot better i didn't think we got the good view we didn't we did not so there it was the light show that was taking place right behind us on on that hill up there so up there on that hill last night that was happening it's very bright in here mr duncan these lights so, yes well we need lights you see so people can see us i need sunglasses in here it's not that bad well, shall I leave you to it, Mr. Duncan? OK, it looks like Steve wants to go so soon. Well, I thought I'd... Well, I can stay for a bit longer if you want no, me you to. No, i tell you what you can, you can do. i tell you what you can do. You can prepare the tea. Right. Does that sound good? Because I will. i tell you what we're doing today. We have been playing the sentence game. And this, this is one that we had today. Can outside play friends? Oh. And a lot of people said the same thing. Can I go outside to play with my friends? Can I go outside to play with my friends? The answer is no, you can't because we are in lockdown. <laughs> well, until Monday anyway, until Monday. But some countries have relaxed their lockdown rules already. Yes, it, it does appear to be something that's happening at different stages around the world. So maybe next Monday, it looks as if here in the UK, we are starting our first stage of easing the lockdown yes i wonder what that will be i don't know uh we will have to wait and see maybe maybe we can kiss dogs on the mouth i've been doing that all the, all the way through mr duncan okay <laughs> that explains a lot thank you steve we will see you a little bit later maybe thank on you, sunday duncan. of course so we are back on sunday don't forget sunday wednesday friday my daily live streams have now come to an end so i will be with you three times a week sunday mm. wednesday friday 2 p.m uk time and steve you will be with us on sunday i will yes so steve is going to be back again on sunday isn't that nice see you later see you later and see you on sunday Yay. bye bye it's mr steve <laughs> and there That was Mr. Steve. For those who don't know who Mr. Steve is, he sometimes pops up on my live chats to say hello. And there he was. <laughs>
he's feeling much better thank you in all seriousness thank you very much for your lovely messages about Steve he was feeling under the weather last weekend he was literally sitting in a chair with a giant blanket over his body looking very pale and unwell Steve has left the garden he's gone into the house now he's going to make a cup of tea and also he's going to make something else as well he's going to heat up some of those scones would you like to have another round would you like to play another round of <gasps> it's the sentence game the sentence game everyone can play the sentence game if you have a brain if you have a brain you can play the sentence game <laughs> what don't forget we are going to have a little dance as well in a short while we are going to have a dance I feel as if I need to stretch my limbs I need to give myself a little bit of exercise however we have round two of the sentence game here is another one oh interesting this is an interesting one oh so the next I like your t-shirt it is blue and white thank you very much yes I think it's rather colorful and fun it's a fun shirt here we go then it this is our next list of words can you see before into check clear so this almost sounds like an instruction you are giving an instruction to someone in English we will often use instructions as a way of guiding a person or telling a person how to do something and how to do it correctly and successfully so there we go before into check clear before into check clear this is an instruction for doing a certain thing but what is it what is it can you make a sentence and they must be in this order please they must be in this actual order first you have before then into check clear before into check clear it is an instruction an instruction you are giving an instruction to someone Jamelia says bye mr. Steve he's gone now he's gone into the house to make a cup of tea and also he's going to heat up his delicious scones scone that's what you call them you call them scones Sandrine says what does it mean when you say that Steve is a pile of pants that's what I said a pile of pants if something is a pile of pants it means it is useless it is no good <laughs> not really though I'm only joking a lot of people think that we are serious when we are making fun of each other but it is just banter okay it is just a little bit of fun it is just a little bit of banter here we go then before into check clear before into check clear this is an instruction instruction a type of instruction Ooh. hello to hello Belarusia Belarusia is here hi I didn't see you arrive we were missing you yesterday a lot of people were asking where is Belarusia so I'm pleased to see you to see you nice 
Hello, hola, hola. Before you into before into you go outside, you must check that everything is clear. I suppose you are almost right. Before you go into maybe into a certain place, you must check that everything is clear. So, yes, you were almost right. So some of the grammar was not right. However, before you go into the garden, check that it is clear. We are saying that make sure there is nothing there. RHS says before you go into the room, please check that the path is clear before you go into the room please check that the path is clear when we go somewhere sometimes we like to visit places or sometimes we like to go into a certain place without other people seeing us sometimes we like to go into a room Maybe we want to go in there on our own, but perhaps if there's another person in there, we don't want to. So I don't want to go into the room if there is another person in there. So first of all, I will check. So before I go into the room, I will check to make sure that the coast is clear. Ah, the coast is clear. Check to make sure that the coast is clear. It is a great expression that we use in English to check that the coast is clear. It means you are making sure that there is no one there or you are making sure that it is safe for you to go forward. You are making sure that the coast is clear. It's a great expression and it is used quite a lot, quite a lot, quite often in English. You have to make sure that the coast is clear. Before you go into the room, check that the coast is clear. Anyone else? Be careful before you start cooking. Check if your hands are clean. Hmm. Before be careful before you start cooking. Unfortunately, there is no into. So into is missing. Into is missing from your sentence. Be careful before you start cooking. Check if your hands or check that your hands are clean. You must always check that your hands are clean before you start cooking food. Unfortunately, this particular word is missing. So we need this word as well. Hello to Husna. Before you go into your car, check that you have a clear, a clear cloth and car. Before you go into your car check that you have a clear cloth and car I'm not quite sure what you mean by that maybe you could say make sure you have a clean cloth to wipe or clean your car yes I think that one works better before entering into the water check clearly that there are no pits or maybe no holes or maybe you can check to make sure that there are no obstacles sometimes when you go into the water you have to make sure there is nothing hidden under the water fly away before entering before you enter into the room check 
if your shoes are clean you check if your shoes are clean you must check if your shoes are clean you can also say check that your shoes are clean you check that everything is okay you check that your shoes are clear so we we, we we don't say clear we say clean so again that one is a little wrong but I'm in a good mood today before you enter the room please check if your coast is clear the coast is clear you make sure that the coast is clear everything is empty there are no people around hello to Mika before you go into your house you must check your that your body is clear we normally say clean we don't normally say clear so clear means something you can see easily or something you can see through clear so something that is clear means something that is empty or maybe there is nothing there maybe a room is empty the, the room is clear clear so you are describing it as an adjective of course you can also use it as a verb as well you can use the word clear as a verb you clear something you clear the table you clear all of the plates off the table you clear you remove everything from a certain place oh so the word clear doesn't necessarily mean clean so the word clean and clear are actually quite different something is clean it means it has no no dirt or maybe it has been polished maybe it is has or it has been sanitized clear clean so you clear to remove things you clean to make something look new or fresh clean so those two words look very similar but they are actually different Here is my suggestion. Would you like my suggestion? OK, it's coming anyway. Before you pull out into the road, you must check that the road is clear or you must check that the road is clear of traffic before you pull out into the road you must check that the road is clear before you pull out into the road you must check that the road is clear that means you are making sure that there is no traffic coming because if you pull out into the road if you pull out into the road then well something might happen you see you might take your eye off the road maybe you are distracted by something so you must always make sure that the road is clear before you pull out or else <laughs> you might have an accident it might happen it might you never know so that's why you have to be careful before you pull out into traffic check that the road is clear so this is an instruction that you would give to someone if they were learning to drive it is a basic rule before you pull out that means you go from one place to another you go into the road maybe you are at a crossroads 
and you're coming towards the junction you have to make sure that there is no traffic coming before you pull out the coast is clear it's a great expression and it is one we use a lot you have to make sure that the coast is clear there are no people around the coast is clear hello unicorino check if the coast is clear i like it mr duncan thanks yes it is a sentence or phrase that is used quite a lot in the english language it really is thank you very much for your guesses for our sentence game now now can you guess what we are going to do now thank you ola for your guess and your suggestion thank you also no sir before i go into the house i check my hand sanitizer and i ensure that my hands are clear that's a good one yes i think i think that's good thank you no sir that's a good one i like that one how to write that how to write that i'm not sure what what you want me to write the coast is clear c o a s t the coast is clear there is nothing around there is nothing around before you go into the supermarket you must check to see that the prices are clear clear the prices are clear sometimes when you go into a shop sometimes you don't know how much something costs because there is no price on the item you have to make sure that the price is clear you can see it something you can see very easily it's time to have a dance would you like to join me in a little dance we are now going to have a dance this is something i started last weekend and it would appear that many people like this piece of music it has become quite popular so i want you to join in as well so this is not just me doing the work you see you have to do it as well so i want you to join in as well we are going to have a little dance and i suppose i might do my little my robot dance as well maybe if i feel like it so we are going to have a little break a little dance with yes it is jazz in paris coming up so come on everyone stand up i don't want anyone being lazy you must stand up if you can if you can't stand up then you can always wave your arms and we will have some fun with jazz in paris a one two three
Did you enjoy that? <sighs> that was fun. I can feel my heart beating. I can feel the blood flowing finally to my brain. My brain has just woken up. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mog Mog. Thank you much, very much, very, 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 very much indeed. Mm. 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 Thank you. That's very kind of you. Wow. Was that applause for me? Really? Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. So this is our Friday English addict. And can I just say I will be back with you on Sunday. So I'm not going to be with you tomorrow. I know a lot of people are going to complain. They are going to say, Mr. Duncan, no. No, you must be here on Saturday. Unfortunately, I'm not here tomorrow. However, however. Yes, I will be with you on Sunday, Sunday, 2 p.m. UK time. And don't forget, Mr. Steve will be here as well on Sunday. He will be here on Sunday as well. Joining us live. Shall we have before we finish because we are approaching the end of today's live stream unfortunately shall we have another round of the sentence game the sentence game do do sentence game the sentence game do do play at home play along at home play along at home play along at home it's the sentence game that was dreadful I can assure you it would sound much better if I had my echo. It would. Everyone sounds good. It doesn't matter how bad your singing is. If you have echo. Echo, 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 echo. Echo, 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 echo. If you if you have echo, everyone sounds good. So here we go. Thank you very much. I hope you had a little dance Beatrice says wonderful I danced with you I love the spectacular music thank you very much that's very kind of you to say we have our third and final round of the sentence game four words all you have to do is make a sentence and of course I will give you some of my suggestions as well if you want There they are. Those are today's final words on the sentence game. Next, try, pass, English. So maybe this is a statement, a statement. So to give you a clue, this is a statement. You are making a statement. Next, try, pass, English. And then I will be going. I will be going in a few moments. Back with you on Sunday. Sunday. Don't forget, of course, you can watch all of my daily live streams again. There is actually a playlist of all my daily live streams so you can watch them again even tomorrow because I'm not with you tomorrow you can watch one of my previous daily live streams maybe here we go then next try pass English can you please make a sentence using those words but you must have them in this order in this order this particular order thank you let's see if we have any entries has anyone entered next year oh Carla hello Carla next year I'll try to pass the English exam 
yes next year I will try to pass the English exam try to pass the English exam next month I will try to pass my English test next month I will try to pass my English test Plotina says Mr. Duncan your dance reminds me of the people who like to dance along the Seine in Paris I saw it once really I've never seen that interesting hello also Anna next month I'll try to pass my English exam yes next month I will try to pass my English exam that's a good one I like that one next month maybe next year or maybe next week I will try to pass my English exam hello no sir next time I will try to pass in the English exam I will try to pass in the English exam normally when we pass an exam we normally say the so next year I will try to pass the English exam the next time I take the exam I will try to pass the next time I take my exam I will try to pass and hopefully I will master English next try pass English <clears throat> next week I will try once more to pass my English exam next week I will try my best I will try hard to pass the English exam Mauricio hello Mauricio nice to see you here next time you try to pass an English <laughs> next time you try to pass an English car be sure you buy a German one interesting that's a very interesting suggestion it almost goes back to the previous one doesn't it because we were talking about driving earlier on Beatrice next month I will try to pass my English exam next month I will try to pass my English exam or I will try to pass the English exam I will try again to pass sometimes we don't pass we don't have success first time sometimes we have to try maybe twice or maybe three times there are people who have to take their driving test many times before they get it right so just because you fail once doesn't mean you will fail the next time it doesn't mean that at all thank you very much to Lewis it's nice to see you here Lewis I hope you are okay and can I send my best wishes also to your wife as well Mauricio <laughs> thank you for your very interesting choice of words Lang Fung hello Lan Fung hello to you thank you once again by the way thank you once again Lan Fung for your kind donation that I received on PayPal thank you very much that's very kind of you very lovely I suppose that you have water in your mouth but you are too polite to eat the scones in front of us I do have some water next to me but to be honest with you I like to have my scones hot or warm there is nothing nicer than warm 
scones so what you do is you put them in the oven and you heat them up just a little bit and then you cut them you put some butter on them you can put some jam on the scone as well or scone <laughs> mr steve says scone i say scone so there are different ways of pronouncing that word i will put it on the screen again so scone or scone and the plural is scones or scones mr steve pronounces it in a very posh way and i don't i don't and for those who are wondering what am i talking about i am talking about mr steve's lovely delicious cakes that he made today there they are so steve made some lovely fresh scones and there you can see them look at that <gasps> very nice very lovely and that is what they're called scone so you have one scone you have many scones or scones and that is how you pronounce that word i hope that was helpful to you meanwhile we have something else going on we have the sentence game next year i will try to pass my english exam of course we can also say test as well so maybe you have a test to make sure that you understand what you've been taught you have a test you have an exam thank you ong the next step for you is to try to pass the ball for your other players ah. the next step is to try to pass the ball for your other player but what about english we have the word english as well at the end you can't leave english all alone at the bottom you can't miss the english out of the sentence sergio says next time i'm going to pass my english in a way you cannot imagine oh, i see it sounds to me as if sergio is going to to try extra hard the next time i try to pass my english exam i will pass it in a way that you can't imagine very nice all i can say is good luck if you are going to take your english test or your english exam can i wish you good luck with it hello moonlight next time i will try to be more determined with my studying to pass my english exam next time i will try to be more determined with my studying to pass my english exam yes that is right you have them all in the right order yeah pretty good i like it very nice also Morella, next summer try to pass the english coast next summer try to pass the english coast i suppose you could say that yes so the word pass has more than one meaning pass can mean go by you pass another person you go by them you pass them by pass pass also means to be successful in a test you have a high score or maybe your score is enough for you to be successful in that test you pass the test you are successful in your exam or in your test you have success oh hello there, there is a little spider come to say hello can you see 
yesterday there were many spiders that kept coming onto my live stream and here is another one mr spider where are you going <laughs> this spider is very strange because it looks as if he can fly the spider can fly very useful thanks very much for the wonderful lessons best wishes for the special day in your country and of course in many countries around the world we are actually celebrating or commemorating victory in Europe or as I said earlier victory over Europe I think they're both okay to be honest personally Mr. Duncan is Mr. Steve a professional chef Stepids. hello Stepids. no he isn't although he does enjoy cooking he does enjoy experimenting <laughs> in the kitchen so sometimes Steve does like to experiment in the kitchen fly away says next week I will try to renew my passport to find my English friend in London you normally re re renew your passport so passport is actually one word bye bye I have to go now see you on Sunday thank you Lil I will be back on Sunday no more daily live streams but I will be with you on Sunday 2 p.m. UK time I am going to give my voice my poor little voice needs a rest I've been using it for many many days but I will be back with you on Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time we will be looking at some unusual words in the English language also we have Mr. Steve with us on Sunday again however I have a feeling by Sunday all of the scones will be gone I don't think there will be any scones left on Sunday I don't think so thanks for your company today I hope you've enjoyed it we are coming up to two hours almost two hours I've been in with you in my garden I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream I was asked if it was possible to show my rhododendron so here is my rhododendron as it looks now in the garden so this is my rhododendron this morning you can see that the flowers are slowly starting to come out so you can see there are many buds bud so the bud is what is formed before the flower emerges so the flower will slowly emerge from the bud bud I love that word bud can you see the bud on my rhododendron it is starting to open and there you can see all of the buds waiting to reveal their lovely flowers on my rhododendron and at the bottom you can see yes one of the flowers has already opened so that is actually what the flower will eventually look like when it opens out so for those who were wondering that is what my rhododendron looks like at the moment that's it I can't believe it two hours have gone two hours have passed by thank you Christine thank you Platina don't be sad you will have the next day to try don't forget you had to pass through the darkness of a foreign language to reach the light of English thank you Mawson and also thank you Platina for your lovely words of advice thank you thank you Andy I would like to congratulate you with the victory day be healthy and take care be wealthy and strong I will try my best well I always think that days like this when we think about the end of war 
I think it is something that we can all learn something from and, and it is always something that I appreciate especially when you realize how much freedom we have how much freedom we all have in the world talking of which hmm, wherever you happen to be in the world at the moment whether you are in Europe whether you are in Africa whether you are watching in Asia or maybe you are down under in yep, Australia perhaps wherever you are in the world I hope you have a nice day I hope you have a peaceful day I hope you will stay safe this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching me on this rather special and quite possibly somber day however there is always something positive that we can take away from any situation whether it happened in the past or right now thank you very much Valerie fly away Sergio thank you very much to Palmyra thank you also Lewis thank you Zuzika Thank you very much for all of your company. Thanks a lot for joining me today. This is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English. I can hear a drone. Someone is flying a drone over my house. I wonder why. What are they doing? Yes, someone is flying a drone over my house. What are they doing? <laughs> invading, invading my privacy. Can you hear it? Yes, I thought so. There's a drone flying over my house. Ooh. I can't believe that someone is spying on me from above. Don't they realize that I have my privacy to protect? Thank you very much for your company. I'm definitely going now. I'm going to find out why there is a drone flying over my house. <laughs> and I will see you on Sunday, 2 p.m. UK time. And of course, until the next time we meet here, definitely. I will see you on Sunday, 2 p.m. Don't forget, I am back with you on Sunday, even though I'm not here tomorrow. This is the official end of my daily live streams during lockdown. Thank you, Corrie. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Ong. Thank you also to Sergio. <laughs> Apparently, Sergio says, it is me. I am checking up on you. Well, you don't have to do that because I'm here now in front of the camera live. You don't have to fly a drone over my head. You can watch me right here live. See you on Sunday. This is Mr. Duncan saying thanks a lot. I'm going into the house now to have a cup of tea and one of Mr. Steve's scones. And of course, you know what's coming next. Yes, you do. Ta-ta for now.